Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Hamilton. I'm with Career Source. I'm here to talk about Tampa Bay Tech Hire. Um, the reason that um, we're all here is we're trying to connect the Tampa Bay ecosystem for technology. Um, just a little bit about the grant. It's a $3.8 million grant, and it's to connect 100,000 uh, students um, nationwide um, to non-traditional uh, training. And when I say non-traditional, I mean certificates and in addition to certificates, also a boot camps. And where I started a journey to find the tech talent that exists right here in the Tampa Bay area. You have to get out into the community. You have to engage right here in the events that are being put on with your community. Was it hard for you to find interns that were willing to work for you without pay? Or you oh, were able to they, find them they walk people. they walk up to you hand you the resume that's phenomenal like it's incre there's incredible talent here there is people starving for opportunities uh, so title of this event was uh, along the lines of practical tools for employers how to hire technical talent Robert did a great job just given kind of the state of technical talent and I want to dive into a little bit more of the nitty-gritty about when you're looking to make those hires where do you find them so to give some more context here, there's, I always look at kind of two different ways to hire. There's a lot of what Robert was kind of getting at with the, the intern and the whole concept of hiring someone on the potential of what they might be. Generally, when it's kind of mid-level, senior level tech talent, you're looking with someone with a specific skill set as opposed to someone who you can mold into a specific skill set. So just to give some context on what I'm generally talking about here, it's more so looking for people who have a very specific skill set. When you're doing these searches, these are my go-tos, and these are basically completely free. Uh, no one ever thinks to search for candidates in Google, right? You search for everything else in your life in Google. Um, a lot of times when you're hiring for technical talent, these guys have portfolio websites, they have uh, uh, GitHubs, they have things that will appear when you actually search for Google and you do it appropriately. Um, the tech hire movement really is to connect the community, and the problem is, is that a lot of the hiring um, is structured so that candidates get screened out. So I don't know if you've noticed, but um, if you don't have a degree, a lot of the times you can't apply for certain jobs. And you may have the skills, and you may have the knowledge, but you're, you're unable to get past that. So why is, why is Tampa Bay a tech hire community? Well, if we look at these numbers at the bottom, you'll see why. So 51,395 local IT jobs. Then you see the 17% growth. And then the average compensation is nationwide, but in the Tampa Bay area, I'm not sure if you can see that, um, the average for all occupations is around 45,510. These numbers are taken in 2015. But it gives you a really good overview of the landscape of why tech hire is important to this community and how you can get connected um, with not only the training, but if you are, uh, an employer to some of this talent. So this um, and something amazing about our program is we are one out of 39 tech hire programs nationwide and we have helped almost 1,000 students gain free training. Thank you. Um, yes, my name is Tatiana. I participated in the Java boot camp this past summer and I was introduced to like several essential concepts for Java. And after going through that boot camp this next semester, I was able to join the Muma Analytics team at USF. And I take part in competitions every week, and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't take this course through Tech Hire. If you're interested in working with us and interested in working with the Tech Hire program, Bonnie's in the back of the room, and what we have is we have um, MOUs, which is basically where we get an agreement where we can kind of help you work with CareerSource help you find the employees that you need, help you work with the system. Because as you see, there's a lot of resources here. This, it gets complicated, it gets confusing. And that's where we've kind of stepped in is really to work with the Tech Hire program to go, how do we get employers part of this? How do we get you to work with internships? You know, realizing that there is on-the-job training programs that are out there. There are technical training programs. There are a slew of trainees. We've trained over a thousand people so far. How do we help you introduce those people to your companies? 